Welcome to uh, Coffee and Crash. Smash, what's that? We don't play Smash on this channel. Smash doesn't exist. It's been a little while since I played Smash. I could do it today, I guess. It's not a weekend. But I gotta get Crash done before uh, Nitro Fueled comes out. Oh, fuck. So that didn't happen. Uh, which is not really a problem, because I did not actually get Nitro Fueled. It did not come out on Steam. That's, uh, expecting... I'm expecting that to be next year, so that will be when I get it. Sandy, uh, Sandy Dragons got Nitro Fueled, so he will be streaming that at some point. I don't think he has yet, but everyone's streaming it, so that's, that's, that's okay. I will continue with my insane trilogy. I, I gotta finish the Crash 3 Relics. I gotta start the Crash 3 Relics. I got one Crash 3 stream in. I got the, uh, I got the main game done. So, uh, now I gotta go back for time trials. And I've said this before, it's not impossible that I could do all Platinums. I did it in the original game, just not on stream. And it took a very long time, because, uh... Crash 3's levels... There are a lot of not, not platforming ones. There are a lot of very unwieldy ones. So we'll see. Oh, and I also got Future Tense. I got the new level I have not played. I didn't actually get all the gems, so I, I just got through the base game to get the running shoes, so I need to... I can't get all the gems before I get some relics in this. So, it's gonna be a little interspersed, same as the original, same as the original game. I kinda wish I could... There's not a... You can't change buttons, can you? Vehicles... No, there, you can't. I would like... To uh, remap the run to something that's not R2, but uh, that's not something this game supports. This is a little odd, a game released now. You'd think that uh, you'd think that would be a feature, is remappable controls. So I have my run. We found out towards the tail end of the Crash 2 stream that uh, sliding and jumping is still faster than just running is. So, uh, I got most of the Platinums in Crash 2 in an in a, in a inefficient fashion. Which, I guess, like, knowing that, this should make it easier, right? three masks. Because if so, I will probably need all three. Damn it! Oh, that was bad. Gold, maybe even sapphire from that now. Nope! Okay. Wow, what an easy first relic. Hello, Sandy. When are, uh, you have any idea when you're gonna do Nitro Field? You're talking about maybe later tonight? Maybe sliding can carry me through this. I mean, you know, the platforming levels, not the ones that aren't platforming. It won't help there. Like this one, Speak of the Devil. Here we go. Fast kick can get you out of sticky situations. So these are a lot of memorization. A lot of luck. A 
lot of going the wrong direction against those. Oh, I missed a crate there. It's kind of hard to see which ones are time crates and which ones aren't in these levels. Just because of the yellow, like, tinting. Here comes the memorization. I'm going to have to know what I need to blow up with this and what I don't. I think I got a time crate down there. Ooh. Wait. Hold on. There were three... Oh, I should have gone down. Well, rip platinum. So there were three masks, but you can't get invincibility underwater. Okay, so in the original game, then uh, the third mask crate would not spawn if you already had two. It would just be a normal, a normal regular crate box. Alright, gold? Yeah, gold. That was not too bad. I remember struggling to get sapphire on these sometimes in the original. I'll try it again. We'll see how bad all Platinums gets, because I did it for the first two game. it would, games, it would be nice to do it for this one. Also, I gotta go, go back and do that, uh, that whatever uh, achievements I'm missing from the first two. I still did not look those up. One of the few Steam games I care about achievements in, honestly. That was unnecessary. Okay. Gotta memorize me some crates. Also gotta get the timing just right, which maybe will be easier in this version. We'll see. I don't know if this renders differently than the original game did. We had some hints in the other Crash games that it did render, like, it loaded the level in a different way. There's also less of an animation for getting onto that thing, which I appreciate. Okay, so no crates there. A crate down there. very minimal time crates. They really, they really went easy on these levels. Wow, okay. Yeah, they, that was way easier than it was in the original game. If they made the non-platforming levels easier because they were so shitty originally, I would be very happy with that. Or at least even just the water ones. I'll settle for the water ones being more forgiving. Because they got mean in the original. How come Coco can't swim? I want to swim suit Coco. Come to think of it, what was Crash wearing? Did he have just his normal pants on? Or did he have like a swimsuit? Alright. Here we go, tiger level. Oh, missed the clock. It's a good start. Who needs it? Master for chumps. Chumps, I say. Oh no, I wanted on that one. God damn it. And I missed another crate. 
I'm gonna guess that Platinum demands basically perfect crates on this sort of level. Nope. Jumped a little late, missed another crate. And cut out the animation. Okay, good, the time stops as soon as you land. It included the animation in the original. That was accounted for. I still have to exit the level as soon as if I get a relic. Even if I want to try again for a better relic. Hmm. Sandy, how are the loading times for Nitro Fueled? That's the one complaint I've heard uh, anyone voice about it. some memorization. A well, better time, but... Okay, skip, please. Bah. Oh, it's got to load again. It was able to respawn you pretty much immediately in the original game. Oh, what? I bounced on the balloon crate somehow. Damn it. I wonder if I can jump up there without the ramp if I'm running. Whoops. Accidental crawl. What's going on? Summer started. School is out, and I have been uh, bus washing. Just because, you know, I, I still need to. I, I still need money. So uh, that's some of the summer work that is available to bus drivers. Uh, I've been washing buses, and I ac actually uh, I forgot my uh, my bag at the bus yard today which had my 3DS in it, so I haven't had a whole lot to do today. I, I won't be able to get it back till tomorrow. Damn it. Been doing a lot of, uh... Main things I've been doing lately are, uh, Pokemon and, uh, making Fire Pro characters. Although the Pokemon thing feels kind of hollow now. Because, you know, I'm getting my collection for, uh... I'm getting my collection complete, my living decks for a game that is not gonna, you know, have them in it anymore. Damn it! Smack into the wall. I didn't know you could hit there, actually. They'll still be in Pokemon Home. They'll be in Pokemon Retirement Home. It's sad, though.
Ow! Oh, I need that three crate. I gotta get that three up there. I'm gonna try to, if I can remember, I wanna try to just jump up there without the ramp. Because it seems like it's possible. Even though these are some of the most unforgiving levels, they're still some of my favorites. And it is not possible. I was deceived. So the mask does fuck all. At least with those guys. There, I guess there are some enemies the mask will help with and some they won't. But uh, what do you think she does to make the tiger go faster? So, like pinching its ear or something. No! She double jumped. I didn't want her to double jump. This is, uh, the return of Anal Zellrog. It's okay, I'm having fun. I like these levels. No! Okay, maybe a sing maybe a big single jump. I keep trying to do two little hops and it's not working. Not do a big single, a big enough single jump. I mean, I could stop running for that portion, but fuck that. The Coco train has no brakes. I got the double jumps. I was a little short that time. I was getting up there pretty reliably earlier. Maybe I'm just overcomplicating it somehow. She does, like, a Mario 64 double jump. Very unintentionally. She keeps going higher on the second jump. Jack is, uh, Jack's working today. He went in at 3 o'clock. So, uh, earlier shift than usual. It's okay. I haven't had the chance to solo stream in a while. Ah! Still too early. What are those guys doing? Why, why are they standing there with boards? What, what purpose does that serve? I guess as much of a, as a, of a purpose as uh, standing there holding bricks. It's interesting that this takes place during the, the, like, the time travel shtick lets this take place during the building of the Great Wall. Because you see great wall levels in other video games, but not while it's being built. That's something unique. Am I going to have to stop running to get that three? It'd be a time gain, but I mean, I'd like to not stop running if I can avoid it. I haven't gotten the three once yet, though. Which is disconcerting. That's a good word, you like that word? Oh, 
Alright. Got it! Alright. Did not stop running. Got the three. I am good. I'm gold. I mean, hopefully I'm not gold. Hopefully I'm platinum. And I got that one. Oh, I'm doing good. This is a perfect run. Perfect run! 12 seconds! That should be about the fastest you can possibly do this level. Unless there's some little variation with, uh, like, cutting corners or something. Can't even scroll up to the Z. Is that going to be one of those, like, Mario Maker levels? The frame-perfect, best possible time, like... Thousands of people across the world have it because it's just it's the best you can possibly do. Those one frame input Mario Maker levels. All right, Bone Yard. I got I'm still missing two gems on this one. I guess I should get those, huh? I'll get the gem first. Gems. about fruit past the point of needing lives I mean generally I, I can die now can't die in time trials these lava pits are actually quite large a big jump to get over I am not speed run speed run Saw someone, Prosafia Gaming, uploaded uh, Crash Nitro Kart. Refueled. Done in 5 hours and 40 minutes. Which I don't know if it's supposed to be a speedrun or if it's just a long play. Uh, do I want to... Let me get the checkpoint first. I don't know if I'm going to be able to backtrack the red gem path or where that's going to drop me. That's, uh, that was a, a metal checkpoint, which implies that there will not be any, not be any boxes on this portion of the level. I could run run if I wanted to, but, uh, they're so big. Crunch sounds like in Nitro... I'm assuming he's in Nitro Fueled, because he was in Nitro Kart. And Nitro Fueled incorporates a bunch of characters and uh, tracks from uh, Nitro Kart and uh, Tag Team Racing. I am just not getting this. I'm also not getting that checkpoint, because I want to see if I can get to the end, get the gem, and then, uh, you know, kill myself. Save a trip. Alright, let me off, please. A mask would be lovely. It'd be great to have a mask for this. I'll try to have a double jump. I actually forgot that. <laughs> Memorization. Coffee, just wait. They really did speed this game up in a lot of areas. The crawling on the or the monkey bars, the animation for getting off on and off the water vehicle thing. I wish that were done in a couple more areas, like uh, I don't know the gems, for instance, but. Uh, Yep. Mm, 
that's tempting. That checkpoint is real tempting, but... Is it one of the... Is it one of these guys that gets me the secret level? I hope not. That'd be a pain. Take me. Alright. So why did I not get the gem on this the last time? What was I missing? Bang. I thought at the time that I needed to, uh... that I needed to have the red gem path because there were crit boxes out on the gem path. Maybe I just didn't bother because I assumed there might be boxes on it? I don't know. of Teen Titans today with Caveman Gnark. Season 5, the last season of the original Teen Titans show, seemed to it just like the, the way they wrote it just took place completely away from Jump City. Like that was the, the touring season, Teen Titans on tour. Where they just run around the DC world. Oh, those weren't spinnable crates. They just run around the DC world, look, just seeing other DC characters you wouldn't otherwise. Other forgotten titans. Which I guess is different. It's not something I really, you know, and expect in Teen Titans from the first four seasons. You can tell they were trying to, like, end it and go out with a bang at the end of Season 4. Because they were only... The show was only originally planned for four seasons, and then they got renewed for a fifth. So they, they kind of just, like, uh, bullshitted one together. I remember what happened. I got the gem, I ran past it, and I fell into the level exit. I didn't actually pick up the gem. Why's it gotta be up there? Why can't it be at the bottom where the exit is? What a dumb decision that was to have a missable gem. once. Look at that. Alright. And then right back in for the relic. It's five relics per portal. And I don't remember which ones are which. I think the first one is an extra level. And like second and or third are uh, portals. I know there's one for the Hang them high, right? Is that the one? One of the Arabian levels.
for the, I think, yellow gem is where you get that. Whoa, that was unintentionally fancy. Damn it! Whatever. So that's mask number... Oh, okay. Well, I need that. There are three masks. I gotta get all three. So I gotta keep this guy. so sad that he can't keep up with this blinding bandicoot speed. There we go. I was not sliding through that, so that, uh, I realize now that cost me a little time. Actually, that, uh, dinosaur man will get some crates for me. There we go. Well, this is proving not difficult at all, actually. I mean, I, I comparatively. I don't mean to come off as boastful. Compared to doing it in the original Crash Warped, this has not been bad. Here we go. They, here, here's gonna be a challenge. Oh, they got the motorcycle levels. There are like five motorcycle levels in this game. Motorcycles and the jet ski is gonna be bad because this is way more unwieldy than in the original game. Let's see how this goes. Well, success number one, I managed to hit the clock. Barely got that. I don't know why I'm using the stick, actually. Probably better to just use the left and right D-pad for this. I remember not getting high scores in these levels and not being sure how I could do better. Ah, uh, the ang look, Coco Death Stare. Okay. Well, see, I said it was an accomplishment the first time. Gotta hit the clock. There are spots that uh, it, it's beneficial to just use the mask to tank. You know, go straight through some bombs. Stand. Real jet skis are very slip slidey. We gotta emulate that. We gotta make it feel like we're uh, we're jet skiing on ice. That's realism. That's what people want in games.
Alright, doing alright so far. I mean, I think. It's one bomb. Bobbing, weaving. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, I needed those. Those were good crates. Probably gold, if that. Sapphire. Battle to... I can't even read what that says. It was bad. And it was bad. And I still gotta go out to get the relic. I was uh, considering. I was considering Crash Nitro Kart on Switch just because you know the portability would be very nice. But uh, I mean, part of the part of the draw of rebuying these games is well, the achievements for me. I don't know that I would necessarily be playing, like, online or anything if I got it on the Switch, so, uh, you know, whatever. Don't know how that didn't hit me, but I'm okay with it. Okay, that's fine. I just smashed the guy by landing on him. It's one mask down. Oh, that bomb moves fast. Down to zero masks. And I'm up to this spot. Okay, I got him. Good. Damn it. Don't look at me like that. At least this is the easiest jet ski level, so there's that. With the possible exception of hot cocoa. I don't know how that's gonna go. I very I accidentally got platinum on that one in the previous game, because I guess the platinum time was just ludicrously forgiving. I'm hoping that hasn't changed. Hot cocoa is not a level that I enjoy. To Google images search that I enjoy, but not a level. Damn it. Nope. Hit that again. And the other one. Nope. Okay. Dodge that. Once again, down to no masks for the final stretch. Ah, missed the two. That's okay. Dodge these guys. What's our time? Is that good enough? No. And I have to exit the level again.
I got that two crate, maybe. Why am I going for that? I don't need to go for that. That ramp has nothing. Be nice if there was some kind of turbo or something. get another, uh, not a remake, but a proper Crash Racing game, uh, sequel, or fourth Crash Racing game, with different vehicles. That's never been done before, right? Have some water levels, give Crash his own jet ski. Now, Crash can be on the, on the surfboard. Well, motor surfboard, whatever the hell that thing in Crash 2 was. Alright, we got two masks. We're in a good position. I should get a time bonus for uh, finishing with masks. Fuck it, just go on straight through. All right, sub 57. No? What? This is very tight. I'm gonna have to cut corners and things. I mean, more so than I already have been. for the crash time trial streams. Sub 56. There we go. That's what we needed. Just a lit. Oh, okay. A eh. little tighter. Need that up. Oh. You got to be a prince.
You used to kind of muck around in that water, didn't you? It feels like it does not slow you as much as it used to. I missed the portal. Okay, still good enough. That's fine. I will take good enough. Yeah, this definitely, definitely feels easier than uh, PS1 Crash Warped. What's next? Alright. So here's level I'm missing the yellow gem on. And I don't know how many uh, relics I need to get that yellow gem. Here you go check, I guess. I'm just lazy. Oh. So the clock is at the top of this. Was it always at the top of this? Or was it at the bottom before? The wrong time to start, that's okay. Yeah, missed a lot of time crates. A lot of time crates. There's gonna be three masks on this level, aren't there? Sure looking that way. Yeah, there are. Oh, I got all three of them. Oh, okay. Cool. I thought I'd only gotten two. Look at her scurry. No! Okay. I remember spending a lot of time on these levels in the original game, and I would ac accidentally get Platinums just because I spent so long being anal. See, I missed that one. Yeah, okay. You don't want to do it that way. No! Nah! Okay, we're fine. The hustle! Look at that! Like the mesh is, is on fire, it's red hot. And down a pit. I love how fast you go on it now, though. Too early. Probably being uh, more anal than I need to be, especially now on this on this version of this level, this undoubtedly more forgiving version.
I would dare say objectively more forgiving because it has the faster, uh, the faster scuttling. Monkey! nice the time trials that give you an uh, invincibility op opportunity I mean it's double-edged sword because then you end up needing them needing the invincibility for the best time which means those levels demand that you not take any hits doing that a lot to uh, get up these bouncy areas faster. It's just not hitting the jump button. Damn it. Gotta get that invincibility. I'm gonna wait a sec. Now how's the scorpion go? Alright, right side. Damn it! Well, lost a little time there. One genie gets to live. through the boxes and that fucked with my jump. I'm running out of the starting gate just because I want to get started faster, but then I get up here, end up here, and I have to wait for this guy. And I'd have to, I guess. Again, probably being way more anal than I need to. I'll just fuck it, just go for it. Just go over the dude. Who cares? Right side. Ah, made it. Get the mask, Coco. How do we do? Yeah, I, I figured that. Wait. 
for those of you who have missed the first Crash streams, I do that because th this trilogy has a bad name entry system. Which you did, wouldn't think is something you could fuck up, but you can. You cannot loop from A up to Z, which already makes it take longer to enter. And it does not remember your name entry between uh, time trial attempts. So I have to manually type it in every single time, which is very obnoxious and time-consuming. So I, I just I go with one that's easy to enter instead of typing in the whole proper one every single time. All right, I am now going to walk away. Bye. Sit for a second. This was how you had to do this in the original Crash 3. Was just sit and wait for those idiots to clear the track so that you could do your time trial uninterrupted. Now, I've always thought as soon as you get the clock, they should disappear. That would be the fair way to do it. I don't know if that's the case in this version or not. Somehow I doubt it. But, uh, I got the Platinums in the original by using a speed-up on EPSXE. Damn it. And just letting it sit there for, like, 30 sped-up seconds to get the track clear so I could just go uninterrupted. You really want to keep this going as long as possible. It's worth missing some, uh some crates to keep this speed up going. And in fact, I should have missed that crate and just kept it going through here. We'll see what time I can get. Okay, this is a very short track. This is not a bad one at all. I mean, compared to motorcycle levels. Gold. Alright. Bah. break in this stream. The coffee's getting to me. And right back in. Did they make the level layout easier? You can get a speed boost at the start, too, and I don't remember how exactly. No, they do not disappear. Oh, that's going to make this really difficult. That's going to be really annoying. See, now I have to... I can't... I got to contend with that now. Oh, that's bad. Because I don't have EPSXE's speed-up feature. So I gotta contend with them being on the track with me. Or else... I gotta sit and wait for that long every single attempt for the track to be clear. That's gonna be really time consuming. That's exactly what I was worried about. And they don't really design it so that they're out of the way when you need them to be, too. That is, uh, that's a, that's a design flaw. Would have been so much better for them to just vanish off the track as soon as you pick up that clock. But nope, can't make it too easy for you. Alright, what's our time? Sub 43. Is that good enough? No. Uh, so do I keep trying despite them being on the track, or do I actually sit and wait? 
to have another game to play. Just pull up a Gario or something. Just play it for a minute. The start of every motorcycle level attempt. This sucks. This really sucks. It was tolerable on emulation because I could speed it up. You know, do the, the no frame limit. Not here. Just gotta wait. Yep. How are you guys? Doing well? I should say get a get a stopwatch or something. I haven't been counting how long it's been. I did that in EPSXE as well. I counted exactly how long I waited at the start of the level. Because actually if you wait long enough, they will loop back around. The track is circular, and the AI driver drivers will come back around from the back. Oh, See, that's one. That's an attempt down. Well, I'm gonna take that pee break. Be right back. Hang in there. Are the bad men gone? Did they loop around again? I could play Pokemon during these periods. I have the streaming 3DS. But uh, I'm doing Pokemon X at the moment, and that's in my other 3DS, which is still at the bus yard. Maybe they despawn. Maybe if they get far enough ahead of you, they just disappear. That'd be nice. Ah! Almost, I was close. How'd I get that on my first try? I'm gonna wait 30 seconds. So this is gonna be every motorcycle level in this game, and this is the easiest one. Yeah, this is, uh... This is some good motivation. Not to get all Platinums, is these stupid motorcycle levels. Always and forever, the worst Crash Bandicoot levels. Ah. 
No, turn, crash. Now other way. Oh, we're still going. We are still going. And I hit the car. God damn it. I gotta thread the needle on the left of that one. So uh, 30 seconds is not quite long enough to get rid of those guys. Give it about 35. Old man Bandicoot is in no hurry. I've got all day and nothing to do. I'll just wait until the road's clear. It's scary driving out there. some point in Crash's life, he turned British. Every old voice I do is British. A British Crash Bandicoot would be very weird. Although apparently he uh, appropriately spoke with an Australian accent in Skylanders. No turn, crash! Ooh, I've still got it. I'm still going, I'm still wheeling. Wheeling, dealing. Turn! I gotta go way into that. <sighs> this would be a good time to have hamster ball. I mean, I guess this is better than waiting for, uh, you know, seven-minute queues and, like, awesome knots. It's just, you know, you gotta, you have 35-second queues for Crash Bandicoot sessions. Except in this case, you're queuing to not play with people. I want to race all by myself, please. Thank God the the clock doesn't start as soon as you enter as soon as you begin the race and you'd be forced to uh, forced to go with them. Although they have to account for uh, like the platinum time can't be something they expect you to do with them on the track. They have to be accounting for this. Like this is how they're expecting you to do the platinum is by waiting at the start. There's no other way. So that being the case, why would they not clear the track when you get the clock? It makes no sense. me to do all platinums. I mean, Darian, maybe. Here you go. This is what it's like. This is what it looks like. I gotta thread that needle, and then I gotta get one later. Between the cop car and the side of the, the, the ditch. Maybe I really should get up a Gario or something. Can I... Add... Browser...
Just with crash music in the background. Go ahead and uh, move my windows around. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna forget to like change it back when I go to crash. Oh, that's right, I have to have the window focus, too, to do crash. Alright, that's way more than 30 seconds. Should be fine for this run. God, this is gonna be so tedious. Also, I'm gonna get distracted playing Agario and forget what I have to do in crash. They're just gonna just turn into an Agario stream halfway is what's gonna happen. Like that. Okay, you know, no, that, that would that would have happened either way. Hello. Hey, Pikachu. Is that a detective Pikachu or right? Oh, who's that? Sumo man. They want me. They want me bad. Ah, oh, darn. Or Slitherio. Both of those had a, like, knockoff, well, improved versions released on Steam by a different makers. And I played those for a little while. Yep, this is what we've come to. This is getting Platinums in Crash. Eugene, Oregon is a jester. Why, why is he a jester? Damn it. Adam again. It's always this Adam guy. Nope. No ads, please. First one! I'm going, I'm still going. Just gotta keep it alive. Keep the wheelie alive. Ah! Ah! So close. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to... What is this? No. I could sign into my Facebook, which I played on for a little while, but, uh... I'm good. Don't think I'm gonna be coming back to Agario for any permanent... in any permanent capacity. I switched to better Steam version, and even then, barely play. Snipes. So I just fed. Watch, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get a really long Agario run, and just stop playing Crash. We'll just have the music going in the background. That'll be fine. That's plenty. Yeah, you're get. I'm getting you, man. Maybe I can play both at the same time. Oh, 
Oh, hello, hello, sir. Let's get. I guess I get you off frame. The Star Wars. And he's back on frame. I am surrounded by things bigger than me, as happens in this game. Uh-oh. Hello, furry dog, old man. He's gonna recombine, ain't he? Yeah, he is. I'm cur I, I guess I'll just sit here because I'm curious if they do get, uh, if they do come back, or if they do loop around like they did in the original. This is the long one. I mean, I could just kill myself if I wanted to resume crash, which I mean, I, you know, I do, but maybe, maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe this was a mistake. The Cigario. Yeah, okay. Adam, again. Only, I can only feed Adam. He's my Agario boy. I just put Agario's the thumbnail to this video. We actually did a stream of Agario way back in the early days. Back when it was somewhat new. I also did a solo Slitherio stream. Turn. Yes! 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 Just gotta keep it going. You're the man, Crash. Bring it home. Sub 40. Gotta be it. Gotta be platinum. Wait, what? Huh? Za? Uh, hmm. How, how do better? I didn't already get platinum, right? I only got gold. Seven platinum, one gold. Back to Agario. I'm gonna have to... Like, do I have to do that and hit more crates than I did? I don't know how, how I could hit more. This game really hasn't changed at all since its conception. Which is fine. You got a good concept, why 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 ruin it? Why fix what ain't broke? Oh, it's like a little bomberman fella. I'm not really bomberman, but basically. I'm, I'm just waiting for someone to come into the stream and say, This isn't Crash! Nitro Kart! Which, it's not. It's a, this is a double troll. Not only is it not Crash Nitro Kart, no longer is it even Crash Bandicoot.
Why, why that guy be shiny? Did he play lots of shekels? He'd pay shekels to be shiny? Who is that? Some weird Marilyn Manson motherfucker? Portland, Oregon. That's nearby. All city blowing. Blowing for any city. Alright. I just have a picture of a sad Middle Eastern looking man now on my browser window. The ad just freezes as soon as I change windows. Okay, do I need to get that and still turn sharply enough? It's possible, it'd be tight, but... I can't believe that wasn't enough, that previous run. I, I cannot skip the ad. No, I don't want popular searches. How go back? Uh. I don't know how to how to back. Well, I guess that's it for Agario. There we go. Sec. Maybe. Assuming I fail again. I would like to not fail. I would like to get the Platinum this time so that I may continue with, for, with more Crash until I get to another motorcycle level in which this whole thing resumes. And presumably takes even longer. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's, that's possible. I mean, I knew it was possible, but... Adds just one more thing to do. I could get this one, too. It's also kind of tight. Oh, uh, oh, this could be it. I guess I don't need to hit those. I could just keep going on my, uh, my existing speed boost. Sub 38. Okay, there we go. Sorry, Slitherio. Next time. God, those levels are demanding. And again, that was the easiest one. Maybe, unless they made all the other ones easier. Like, more forgiving in time to achieve. That'd be nice. I'd like that. Oh, I missed... I probably need the yellow gem for this. I'm gonna guess that's what I'm missing. So I will just go with the I'll just go with the time trial, I guess. I'm gonna focus on relics. Oh! These levels are especially good for sliding because I got this oil everywhere. Get rid of these before I get the clock. Damn it. Damn you, Princess and the Frog Alligator. Mm. 
Masks, who needs them? Masks are for pussies. Didn't really need to do that. Oh, am I gonna need... Am I gonna need... I'm gonna need all three masks. I'm gonna need to get invincibility! Rip. Or is it the purple gem I need? Do I have the purple gem? I do. You know what? I'll just get the gems. Because I think the purple gem was what I needed for this level. Not the yellow. Why am I still running? I don't need to run. Maybe this was sped up from the original. This platform's moving pretty fast. Anything that gets me back to gameplay faster, I appreciate. Hello, monkey. Oh, almost missed you. You know this, this level, these kind of, these kind of, like, traps levels? Weirdly enough, kind of make me nostalgic for Dragon Ball. Original, not, not, not Z. Just remembering, like, the, the oceanic pirate cave. Oh, there are, of course there are crates on this section. Which means I'm gonna have to backtrack all this. Whoop! Shaved her back there. Fuck you, monkey. Is this an achievement? No, I guess not. Coco hates polar bears and monkeys. I guess maybe it'd be better to backtrack from here. Back, I need to go. There are uh, arrows here. I'm okay. We're fine. When are you going to close? You're not? Camera would be great. I would love a camera. Be able to look in front of me? No. That's not in the spirit. Okay. 
We have come full circle. Ooh, this level's a mean one. Now the relic. Back to time trialing. Trialing time? Trial timing? Timing the trials. Crash time racing. Whoops. Well, that's okay. He was going to disappear anyway. There's a lot of crates to destroy before starting. Should be sliding longer before I do the jump. There we go. Now I wonder if the gem pad. No, the gem pad's definitely not faster because. Uh, you have to wait for. Uh, those switches to carry you across at the end. Alright, sub 55. Gold! Okay, gotta do better. about bust washing is if I'm really not feeling up to it I don't have to go I can just not go to work if I don't want to no just go the next day if I want to if I want to work some hours then but I, I, I should go every day because I, I need I need the money money be good I remember for some really bad levels, you would have to start like this. Nope. Missed the switch. Just to save frames walking from the clock to your position. You, you had to do that sometimes in Crash Warped Original.
I get last time? Something comparable? Uh, sub I got one second less. Sub 54. Still gotta do better. Gotta be real precise on this one. Nice if that snake destroyed these boxes. It will not. I'm getting better. Destroying both of those at once. And with a slide. Slide is good. Slide is faster than spin. Got sub 52. Yes. There we go. That's what I needed. Boneyard. Oh, more tiger. I'm down for tiger. I like Pura. Alright, here we go. Oh, no, I missed the clock. Well, that's okay. That was a scouting mission. I now know I will be starting on the bottom. I will not be taking that ramp. God damn it. Okay, don't start running. Note to self. I'm already getting pity masks. Now start running. Good start. Good first attempt. It's even got a specific death animation for hitting a wall. that box. Ow! Oh! I'll just, I'll use this for scouting. I will assume that I will fail here. Could be worth using a guy there. Up top the second time. Alright. What a gruesome death. Not gonna be able to run for that one, I wonder. I'm missing a lot of these crates, and I did the same pattern again. I missed the top as well. You can keep your pity masks. Okay, there we go. So I can get all of them running. I can get that guy, I'm just not. Up top. Okay, just walk off. Getting some real air. Bye. What a graceful death. Flying off the Great Wall and flips. So I can actually use my pity mask to just blaze through one of these guys. I don't even have to worry. For both of them, even. Damn it.
unconcerned. Just one of those. Okay, I got that one. That's the important one. That's a three crate. Ow. No, I can't walk off. I have to jump. Okay. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a, be a very precise one. There's a very Oh! Oh, there are a lot of really precise ones on this. This one could take a while. Gotta get double pity. Not yet. Cortex finds the time to be the emperor emperor of all these different empires. It's just by proxy, obviously. missed. Mm. Am I going to be required to slow down there? I mean, I'm sure there's like a world record that doesn't slow down at all, but... going for no world records. I guess I should try to just do what I can and see what time I get. guys. Oh, missed that. Slow down for this. That's a really noticeable speed difference. Oh, I landed on it. And that's the end of the level. Okay. Well, it's a short level. Sub-18. Is the way way. Let's see what I got. Let's see what uh, bonus portals are open. So I should have two, because that was my tenth relic. Ski crazed. Oh boy, another ski level. Oh, here we go. That's what we want. Hey, guess what? I got a gun that I can't really aim. Coco is not the most, uh, the best marksmanship. Call of Duty, this is not.
I seem to remember some odd magic carpet physics from these particular carpets in the original game. Maybe it was other carpets. Maybe it was when I was uh, doing time trials was when the weird carpet physics happened. But I do remember weird carpet physics. go. Got all color gems. Which is very good to have. So that means I should be able to get all other gems, like these ones. For right now, some kettle corn. That'd be good. Let's go ahead and take advantage of this. This very convenient state. All right, where are you taking me, yellow? Well, there are crates here. Which means this will either drop me off back in the level or there will be some backtracking required. are vulnerable to a butt stomp, but not to dynamite. Just want to be really sure there's nothing up here. Looks like it's one of those gem routes that's going to lead to an alternate exit. Nitros. be a good time for some pity masks. Or even some regular ones in crates would be nice. Gem acquired. That's not nearly all the crates. Where's this going to? There's lives. Alright, I'll take some lives. Ooh, there's like a reflection in the water back there. What's that of? Is that like a, a face? Oh, that's kind of creepy. How far back we gotta go? Myself spinning in the water reflection, and I thought it was one of those crash fish. 
Oh, what? God damn it, muck man. And I'm all the way back here. And I got my gem, so I don't even need to... I don't think there are even any more crates on here. I'm just stuck having to redo this to get back to the main level. I wonder if that's the... Uh, that's the... The pterodactyl that takes me to the bonus level. I feel like I remember it being on a gem path, which is a dick move, but... Would explain why I always have such trouble finding this specific one. I know I'm, I'm gonna have to look it up again. <laughs> no, he's back here again. The only thing I still gotta get is that uh, nitro trigger crate box. Is there a checkpoint up ahead? A checkpoint around here, because that'd be nice. There's a bonus, does that count? function as a de facto checkpoint. It'd be nice to not have to have a spot that I can uh, not respawn inside the gem path with the dinosaur chasing me. That'd be nice. I'd like that. Now, I'm sure there's a checkpoint down below here, but could I jump back up is the question. I don't know if I could. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna hope that that, uh... I'm gonna hope that bonus platform is a de facto checkpoint. And I'm just gonna be trying to be real careful. the guy's coming up. I know he's around here. Is that him? There he is. Fucker. There's a dinosaur. Checkpoint! Awesome! Is there more now? There is. Can't be sure until I'm all the way back to the gym. Oh, this is another mean level. All this backtracking. Another dino. Damn you, crash fish. At least it doesn't kill you on contact. If you're spin if you're counter spinning. Okay, we're at the gem path. We have made a complete circuit. Kinda got a weird looking model in this. This dinosaur fella.
whose name I actually forget. As uh, any scientist can tell you, dinosaurs can only survive in tar. That is their natural environment. And checkpoint. Checkpoint. All right. We're up to a normal point of gameplay, and with all the boxes. That's it. That's all of them. All right. Both gems. Oh, would have sucked to miss that one, too. They should really be down on the ground with the portal. Oh. Other gems. Oh, there's another water level. Although, you know, the, for the last one wasn't bad. The last one was nice and forgiving with the relic. Alright, this, this is a nice warp room. This warp room's got mostly agreeable levels. Mostly platforming, one water level. Best of all, no motorcycles. I think. Did I miss one? Was I not paying attention? Alright, time trial. Here we go. I'm faster than you, dinosaur. I'm hoofing it. Again, I'm focused now. That's a very elaborate set of crates to get. I haven't lost a mask, have I? Oh, now I have. Don't really need to worry about those because the dinosaur will get them for me. I don't know about that one. Yeah, he'll get that one too. God damn it. I was almost there. Damn you, crash fish. So, I think there are only two... I think there are only two masks on this level, so I can't get invincibility. Don't need to worry about that. Saw someone post in chat, but I can't look at it just yet. Damn it. Hello, Rambuxi. Damn it. Take me. <laughs> Just get caught on the metal crates. I got it the very first time, and I haven't been able to repeat it. 
It'll be more reliable to bounce on him. If I can eat if I can land that. There we go. No! Crash fish! It's okay. I think this will be doable. This one's going well. There's one mask down. you doing today? Who needs to activate things? Nobody, that's who. So that's mask number two. And now I don't need to worry about crates, because I got dinosaur friend, I do need to worry about lava. But I don't got time to worry about lava. Too busy speedrunning. Just gonna have to hope I don't land in it. Like I just did. I'm doing okay. I got, uh, whatever work I can get for the summer. Normally a school bus driver, but, uh, right now they have me washing buses. So, uh, I'm getting a little income from that. Days I have off, I'm going to, uh, be buckling down on voice work and writing. If I can get the time for that, that'd be nice. Need to get some trickle-in income. I've done uh, one audiobook in the past. It'd be nice to get some more under my belt. How I didn't land in lava there, but I'm okay with that. Alright, here we go. Back to the dinosaur. I won't get the mask from that, will I? No, I won't. Would have been cool. Slip sliding around. Oh, there's one more lava pit right there, and I just, okay, I ran in circles a little bit. Sub 56, good enough. For all I know, it was sub one minute, and I was way too anal about that. We'll never know now. I wasn't sure if I was going to be going for all Platinums or not going into this. And you know, I'm still not positive because the motorcycle levels are hot garbage for the relics. Oh. Although that said, this the game on the whole has been uh, a lot easier than the PS1 version for the relics. The underwater levels, I hate, but... The first one was at least much more forgiving for the Platinum time than uh, it was in Crash 1. It was very doable. Hopefully the same will be true of this one. I 
don't remember if this level... Yeah, this level introduces the water vortexes. Those need masks spent on them. Those are mask barriers. Yeah, and there's another mask. The masks are plentiful in this stage specifically for those things. Oh, just missed it. They give you two right out of the starting gate. It would be cool if I could get invincibility underwater. Sadly, it is not a feature of the game. That was bad timing. That was very bad timing. And I lost a mask that I... I lost both my masks. That is very bad. That is now going to wall me at one of these spouts. Right there. Yep, there it goes. Never did figure exactly how this game loads things. So we're gonna have to see how I need to manage this to get at the uh, electric wall at just the right time. Got it at exactly the wrong time that time, and in fact, I just wasted more time by going around the long way. Lost a mask. That ain't... Oh, it's okay. In fact, I saved one there, and then I lost it to the shark. Go mm. through, crash! And damn it! These levels are always the worst. Well, I'm not going to say they're the worst because the motorcycle levels exist. These levels are always bad, though. Do not like the underwater crash levels. On the plus side, I don't feel like I'm getting caught on invisible lips all the time like I did in the original. Just missed it again! Now, I don't know if I can, like, wait a few seconds at the start to remedy that timing, or if... If the level doesn't unload. Because remember, when I did the medieval levels, the platforming ones, if I hit restart... Well, no, that was if I finished a run, it would have to reload the level. Like, with the loading screen and all. But if I just go restart, it just, uh... It just goes right back to the beginning without a loading screen. So I wonder what the standard for when it needs a loading screen is. Okay, I got a mask. That's good. I need one. I should have gone for it! Fuck! Okay, there goes my mask that I needed for this wall! I was on a good track, then I hesitated. Hesitating is something you cannot do for a platinum time. Just rapid fire torpedoes, fuck it. Machine gun torpedoes. Now, I might still be able to do it even without getting a perfect time on that, uh, that electric wall. We'll see. In the original game, you would have had to get, like, start the clock at exactly the right time. that wall at least. 
Let's see what I can do. Okay, sub one minute. Got it! Perfect. I'm so happy I don't have to come back to this level. Wait. For all I know, that was just at the very edge of it. And one minute would have been gold. Probably was. The next one. Yes, yeah, next one. All right, here we go. Good start. out. Really hope I don't have to do that every time. Oh! Damn it. Not a great start. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get up there fast. Wow, they don't even give you a chance to save yourself. The fall box is just immediate. I feel like this is a level that could require some very specific start timing. She didn't, she didn't, I didn't hold on right. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start this level at just the right time to get up there without hesitating. Without waiting, rather. Damn it! So if I start immediately, the carpet is in a little bit of the wrong spot. Well, nope. I can I can do it immediately if, if I. Well, if I bounce on both crates, I gotta do that amount of waiting. Ideally, I should wait just a little bit to get that timing better. Oh, that would have been a three mask if I'd kept them all. So I'm going to need to keep all masks for this. Can I jump on the genie? I don't remember. No, I want to wait. I want to wait just a little bit. That's long enough. No? Alright, now I want to keep you, or not. A little longer. Let's try one full rotation. Ow! Just a little short, I think.
No, kill me. Come on. A little mistimed. And go. That's how you timed it in Crash in original Warped. I'm assuming it'll still work here. Again, it depends on how the level loads. Again, probably being way too anal about this. Oh, almost. I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it too much. The platinum times have been generally forgiving in this game. I'm just going to focus on getting all three masks so I can get the invincibility. That's going to be the important part. That's what I want. Damn it! Still not immune to pitfalls when just when invincible. Faster to spin the genie. I guess I could have conceivably done uh, Crash 3 in one sitting like I did Crash 2, after all. I didn't realize how, uh, how watered down the relics were going to be. I guess I should have had a feeling. They don't make them PS1 hard games no more. back there. That's alright. If I can get my invincibility, maybe it won't matter. Damn it! Oh, that's bad. That was a three. That's alright. That run wasn't going well anyway. Nor was that one. face is on me. That's the plan. That's the timing. That's the timing. That's what I want. Perfect. 
The stars are aligned, except I did- I lost my mask. I need that. I need the invincibility. Face. Perf- Oh, bounce, Coco! The fuck? The fuck? What are you doing, Coco? Mr. Oh fuck, what was Mr. T's character? B.A. Baracus. Fourth guy. Hal and Mad Murdoch, right? That was the last guy. No! Damn it, that was a little bad. All right, we're on track. We got all the crates we want to have. We got invincibility. This could be the run. And I did the same thing again. That carpet is not where I want it to be. This music feels like it could be an episode of uh, Samurai Jack. It's got that 90s cartoon vibe to it. Or Dexter. Any Tartakovsky show. I wonder what a Crash 90s cartoon would have been like. You don't see much of Crash's like uh, Island Life. I guess it would be like that. I, you know what? It would be like Donkey Kong and the Crystal Coconuts. Maybe better animated. Hopefully better animated. Shout out to Eddie the Yeti. God damn it. I cursed myself by mentioning Crystal Coconuts. That run was ruined. And so is the following one. This is the first level I think I've retried this many times. Well, lately. I'm getting flashbacks to a Stormy Ascent. Which is a grossly unfair comparison. There's nowhere near that. Nope. There were some levels in Crash 2 that took at least this long. I think I want to go a little later rather than earlier. Or not. Maybe maybe later is a bad idea. That explosion is really blinding. Like, I could easily miss those carpets afterwards. If I'm not paying attention. God, I hate waiting for this. Oh, such a time waster. Alright, sub 50. Got it. Probably being way too anal. I'm waiting 
comfort. I'm waiting for another motorcycle level to come and ruin my day. So that was high time. Next up is... Oh, no. Well... Wasn't paying attention. There is, in fact, a motorcycle level in this world. Accelerate just before the green light for a boost. And then, you know, you have to contend with these assholes. Isn't that fun? Well, here we go. Just gonna wait here at the start of the track. Play some snack game. Eat you. And eat America, Snape. Damn it. Alright, let's try this. It's not even worth bothering with them on the track. It's not worth an attempt. I guess I could have, like, scoped out the level. That'd be it. The fewer, the fewer speed boosts there are, the better. Because that's less of me having to try to manage a wheelie. And there haven't been any so far. I like that. I like that they're not showing up. I'm waiting for them, though. I know they're going to come. If it's just me having to cut corners and get all the crates, perfect. Peachy. Oh, here's one. Well, that's okay. That goes right to a ramp. I think I missed one of those. Here we go. Hold right. Hold right. Not enough. Okay, so that one doesn't last very far. You. Asshole. You! Okay, I went under him. We're still good. Can't really do much with that one. Because it goes right to a ramp. That one's gonna be tight. Ooh, ooh, no! I don't like that. So that this crate might not be worth. Well, no, I, I need to go around this hole. There's no way for me to cut to the right, the left side of that. Maybe sapphire. Yeah. Bad. So mostly not a lot of boost, which is which is good. This could be easier than the than the previous one. I gotta worry about when to stop boosting, actually. Nope, just go back to my snake game. Till the other racers clear the track. Usually it's a good practice to follow the big fella. Wait for him to die. Just follow you, bud. Uh-oh! Just eat your poop. Eat the poop-poop. Two big fellas. He's trapped by a bunch of little snakes. Just waiting for him to die. Oh! Eat the poop. Eat the poop. -poo. Do 
feed me the poo poo. Oh, there are some goodies. Ooh, even more. Should be good and clear. It's so stupid that I have to do this. I remember back when this, uh, when this more or less just come out, the Achievement Hunter guys played it. And Michael said that uh, controlling the bike on these levels was not not bad or difficult to control at all. Which blows my mind that any human could think that. Just the turning on this is so awful. into the ramp, into the cluster. Slow down the sharp left. Gotta, oh man, I gotta break there. Maybe, maybe I have to break. I don't think there's any way I can avoid the ramp taking that one. Did not get that successfully. And I cannot thread these guys. Damn it. I was really hoping. I guess I should here. Sorry, I should uh, put the, the chat over the Agario. Sorry, Slitherio. In case anyone wants to commentate on this epic 50s rock snake game. Bo 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 bo. Just the signifying classic rock riff bass line. Damn it. I don't think that was long enough. Oh. I'll give it a few more seconds and just go. Probably factoring in the the start of race boost, but you just you the other guys. How did I miss that? Huh? Is I not not going fast enough? What? The other guys just get in the way too much. I'll try it. I'll try it with them on the on the track. Missed. Oh, and there's no restart. Fuck. So if you don't if you don't get the clock, there's no way to restart the race except you can't even die and kill yourself. You have to finish the race or load the warp room all over again. Some bad game design bits in Crash 3 that I wish were addressed in this remake that weren't. Gotta get this clock. There we go. Meander around these guys best I can. I just know one of them is gonna be hovering right on top of a crate I need to get or something. Yep, yeah, that guy blocked the ramp. Takes the ramp just as I need it. I mean, he gets out of the way of the clock at least, but. I don't think they're AI either. I think they're on a predetermined track. 
So they will they will go the same way every single time. I can scoot around that guy. And of course they never cut corners like that, so I can uh I wonder if there's, any, there's like, drafting or something. I, I don't get a speed boost for being behind them, I wonder. That'd be a weird mechanic for something like this. Fuck! You fuck! You took my boost and my crate! Why don't they just disappear when you get the clock? Why is this here? Why is this part of the time trial? And he's gonna hit me. Nope, okay, good. Gonna hit this guy. Nope, okay, one around him. I think if I hold right enough, I think I can go straight from boost to boost there. God damn it. I'm gonna keep trying with them. Until I at least finish a run. They're so obnoxious, though. They're so in the way! I wonder how Jack X is gonna hold up. I haven't played that in a very long time, Jack X Combat Racing. Uh, when we played uh, Blur, I was uh, surprised by how much of a well-designed game it was, and that I had forgotten how well-designed a game it was. I wonder if a similar thing's gonna happen with Jack X or not. Fucker! Ah, and I missed the crate, because I was going too slow. Well, that's almost certainly not platinum, then, but... Like, what? I can't do anything about it, though. Like, no question, you have a better chance at the Platinum with just the road clear and these guys not here. But to force the player to do that... Stay out of my way. Out of the way! You! F same thing happened. Well, he denied me the boost. I got the crate that time, at least. Holding right, holding right, holding right, holding right. Oh, this isn't the one. I wonder if I can rebound on that guy for turns. I hate these guys. I hate these guys! That's the only conceivable way they could be of benefit, is if I can rebound off them. To, uh, to get, like, a turn better, or something. Like, my eyes are going blurry. I've been looking at this game for so long now. 
I mean, this isn't really the stream to say that on. I get 11 hours of Crash 2, but... Maybe it's the coffee. Maybe coffee and Crash was a mistake. You fuck, you fuck, you fuck! I hate him. Nope, in the ditch. Still in the ditch. And I'm gonna hit him. I'm totally gonna... No, I didn't hit him. Missed the box. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, well, I'm gonna go in the ditch. Now I'm gonna hit you. Because you're gonna be right in the way, ain't you? Yeah, you are. Uh, okay, maybe I still think I can get I still think I can go, I can go uh, boost to boost on that, but I can't do it just holding right. It is a little more uh, a little more involved than that. All right, 124 gold, maybe no. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, ow! Fucker ran over my bike. So, uh, I'm not successfully getting that bounce-off rebound I was hoping might possibly be helpful. I'm, uh... Let's go back to clearing the track. Dull as it may be, it seems to be the winning strat. I wish it weren't. Snake poop. You get the biggest snake. There's very little poop around. This is easy to easy to load up because I can just have a browser open in OBS. I don't need to have any other programs running. And I'm sure it's been long enough. I don't know what tends to go longer, Agario or uh, Slitherio. Really, I should be playing like Tic Tac Toe or something. Maybe they don't loop around in this version. I haven't seen it happen yet. Which would be nice. There's no worry about waiting too long. Damn it! If only hitting the alien sign counted as finishing the level. If only. Boy, then the relic could be real demanding. Just fishtail a little bit. Wiggle the wiggle the back side of my bike. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. about the best I can do there. Gotta let go of the accelerator. I did not break. I just stopped accelerating. Let's see how this goes. Let go. Nope. I gotta break there or I go in the ditch.
Let go there. Go there. What am I gonna get? 120... sub 122. Please? Pretty po Yay! Never going back! What if I get them all in one stream? Could that be possible? What is this? this is warp room three? So if I if I complete this warp room, I'll be done with half the relics. Maybe not. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just finish this and I'll I'll come back for another. You know, three hours of crash. With, uh, uh, that, that would, that, that stream would have three, I think three motorcycle levels in it? At least two. There's also at least two, or th I think there are three jet ski levels left. Wait, Co what are you doing to Coco? Oh, I didn't like how that looked at all. Are those covered in spikes now? There are gonna be three masks on this, aren't there? was an accident. That was not an intentional. An intentional. Ah, I want that. <laughs> Double whiff. Give me my third mask. Where are you? Damn it. slipping off the control stick. Sub 58. Oh, great. Perfect. Peachy. And one final celebratory. next time, I have five there, five there. I don't know how many gems. I have the bonus levels, and I have future tents. Where's that at? Isn't this it? Oh, it's, yeah, oh no, it's this old separate place. I don't want to go there. Alright, well, here I am. Next time. Looking at you. save manually in addition to the to the 78 I thought it'd be higher than that oh well all right that's it for today I'm just gonna let me just uh... yeah gotta end with Slavario very important can't leave you hanging.
Thanks for watching. Alright, I'll be back with Crash 3, a final... I'm gonna hope three hours final stream. For all Platinums, we're doing all Platinums in Crash 3. We came this far, we might as well finish it. I'll see you guys next time.